Oh yeah, somebody is waiting for her puppies, which are right inside of this incubator right here. I um, They've been overfeeding, so that can cause some issues with the puppies. Uh, she, uh, Ellie is a really, really good mom. Let me show you Ellie right here real quick. This is Ellie, all right? I know you're waiting for your puppies. I know you are. I'm gonna get them right now. So what we do is, um, Today is day eight, and we are take, so I take the puppies away from her, and I put them away for uh, two to three hours, and then I bring them back for feeding, leave her there with her for about an hour. Right now, it's midnight, and so I'll be back at this at four o'clock this morning. Um, I'll be up with her with, while she's with the puppies, because we want to make sure she doesn't lay down on them or anything like that, and then uh, we'll, I'll put them away, and I'll be able to get three hours sleep, and then I'll wake up at 4 a.m., and I'll do it all over again, um, and then but before. I know, come in, I got you. I know, I know. But before I bring them in there, let me show you the first one, okay? So this little guy right here is a boy. There were three in Ellie and Tommy's litter, okay? So this is a little boy right here. And this guy's name is Grendel, okay? You know, it's one of my favorite rounds right here. He's a really, he's a really, really heavy boy. Uh, eyes and ears are not open yet. So what I'm going to do is... I'm just gonna make him pee, pee real quick. If he starts to poop, that's good. But she's Ellie's been really good with cleaning them and stimulating to get them to pee and poop. So I will do that. It, it, yep, this guy's already. Oh man, he is going all over the place. Yep. Oh yeah. I forget. This is a boy, so it's a little further out than a girl. There we go. Good job, buddy. Good job. And then I will put him in with his mom. And we will go on to the next one. But I just want to show you this guy right here. He is a blue Merle. He's got some really light gray Merle and white on his chest. And Merle patches all over him. We'll see what his eyes are going to look like when they open. And then we won't know for several weeks after that. He just wants his mommy. He's really hungry right now. So what I'll do is I'll give him to his mama. And then I'll grab another one. Hold on a second. Here goes his mama. There we are. Okay. Turn the light on in there. This way they can get some heat while they're in there as well. These puppies need to remain around 88 degrees. Now, newborn puppies cannot regulate their own heat, so that's why. So in this particular system that I have right here, it regulates the humidity and the heat. It keeps it a keeps it a constant. Um, inside the whelping area, there is a heat lamp that keeps it a constant, but with the mom, that's enough of heat for them. The other thing is that um, newborn puppies, although they can't regulate their heat, their body temperature is about 15 degrees above the ambient heat in here. And it's around 70, 75 degrees in here right now. So that'll be pretty good. Let's go ahead and let's look at the next one. This little girl right here, oh my god, dude, she is, she is huge, she's the biggest one out of the litter, she was the first one, look at her, oh, her eyes are opening, look at that, ain't that something, her eyes are, be her eyes are beginning to open, okay, I don't want to put too much bright light on her, okay, she's got a gorgeous, gorgeous cocoa coat, this is kind of very rare in their color, um, she has a little bit of a black mask right there, and she's going to have pink in the nose and the lips. After eight days, she's about 22 ounces already, which is, she's a big, big girl. Her father is 30, 30 something, 31 pounds, 32 pounds. And now she, I'm just going to make her pee real quick. And if she poops, that'll be good too, but mama will take care of that. Then they'll settle down, and then they will feed. Let's get back right here. Yep, she's peeing real nicely. She's doing a little nice pee-pee. The best thing to use, I have a um, a warmer for these things. Here, she's making a little poop poopy right now, too. All right. There we go. Good. She got a little poopy coming out. There we go. Let me take care of that. We don't want that on camera. I put that on camera before for you guys. We'll get her pooping right here. Good. Nice poop. Good. There we go. Good. Oh, he's really disgusting stuff. The mom actually eats this. Like, she licks it right up. So, but I'm saving her a little bit of 
not having to brush her teeth. And here we go. Good girl. Good girl. Fantastic. There we go. I'm going to say goodbye. This one right here, this is Lapua. Because she's a really big cartridge right there. This is the little baby Lapua. And she's going to go inside with her mama right now. There you go. There you go. There's your little baby girl. Yes. Yeah. And they, these guys are eating like crazy. This is the middle girl right here. And this is the final one. There was only three in this litter. This is Norma, which is another one of my favorite rounds, baby Norma. And I'll show you her. She is a complete Merle right here. Now, even though the other one had that cocoa, she's also, she has like some, some, some Merling in her coat. We'll see it as she gets older though. But this one right here, I know, I know you're so cute. You're such a pretty little girl. Yes, you are. I cannot believe her sister's eyes are open already, but she's been the first one to develop on everything. I take one of these out of the little warmer right there, and we'll kind of doing the same motion that the mom does when they lick their butts. And here she goes, she's peeing like crazy. Good. She's getting all that pee pee out, okay? There we go. You guys don't want to see that too much right there. I'll just do that over here by myself. And yes, I know you're so pretty, girl. You are such a pretty little girl, yes. The problem when you do, now a lot of times I bring a little um, a little bowl with water in it, warm water, and I will, uh, I have like my little setup over here, I have my scale and stuff like that, and I have my little, I take paper towels and I rip them in half and I'll dip them in water. Alright baby, okay, you're going to go with your mama right now though. So I just wanted to share this one with you, I haven't had a chance to show you guys, I've been so darn busy, but um. Say hello to little Norma, and we'll watch these guys grow up, okay, over the course of the next several weeks, and we'll see what type of little puppies. The idea right now is to keep them alive. That's the thing. It's just, This is the scariest part. The first couple of weeks is so scary when it comes to French Bulldogs, but we're doing our very best to give them the best chance at survival, you know. Um... Ellie had to have a C-section. She was in 15 hours of labor. It was a really, really rough labor for her. She tried starting to give birth, but these little guys were too big for her birth canal. So um, she started to give the sack, started to come out a little bit, and then we rushed her to the emergency hospital. And if you guys want to know, in my area where I am, um, a C-section for a French Bulldog where I live is total cost was in and out on emergency was $3,200. So it's expensive, and that's why these dogs are expensive, because most of the time they cannot give birth naturally. It has to be by C-section because the hips are so narrow and these guys' heads are so big. But um, there's a lot of other dogs that are like that, too. So I just want to share this little girl with you right here, okay? Look at her. Ears are already beginning to stand up, but the ears are closed. All right, I'm going to get you with your mama. Okay, all right. Okay, here we go. Here's your mama. I know you smell your mamas. I know you do. There you go. And she's going right to it. And there they are with their mama. Right there. She's like, I want something. Look at her. Look how hungry she is. Oh, this guy's caught behind there. Hold on a second. Let me get that. See? That's what I worry about. Now, I have poles that I put up around it, but they're getting so big that they get caught up in the poles, too. But Ellie is a very, very attentive mom. So she's really, really good at taking care of them. Uh, but still, you have to be in here. You have to monitor. You can't, you know, we, didn't, we don't want to take a chance at them. And her sitting down on them, rolling over on them, or anything like that. It's the biggest, one of the biggest causes for uh, little puppy deaths. But right now, she's just going to clean the heck out of them, and then she'll sit down, and then we'll get her feeding them. And in the meantime, so if you guys got any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments down below. Thanks for stopping by and sharing this with us. You know this is what we do. I'll see you guys in the next one.